Okay, it's Remove It Post-It Notes time. Woo! Also in this episode, I finally get those new replacement panels in the V-Birth fitted, as well as a little trim piece. There's a lot more work on that engine box. But first, on the other side of the intro, an earlier Bruce has something good to say about the Post-It Notes. So now for a fun part, removing some of these post-it notes. But before I remove them, I want the satisfaction of crossing them off. Fit, finish, the saloon backs and tops, done. Fiberglass, the pedestal for the toilet, as well as finish fiberglassing, that remaining bit of sole, done. Finish and paint the gas locker. Well, I finished it, but that still has to be painted so Although I can't remove that yet, I'm going to cross out finish because that part is done. Similarly, fit and finish the head's cabinet. I know I didn't explain that carefully, but the objective was to get the top fitted. That I have done. So I'm not going to remove that, but what I can do is cross off the top, the engine box. Well, I've definitely made a very good start with getting that done. And as I did explain, making up the box itself was the objective which I've done so I can't remove that just yet but what I will do is cross off the engine box part of it you might not be able to see underneath that but I have written the steps and the gas struts the galley cabinet doors the hinges it's all fitted and the locks are fitted I'm going to leave it there because they're not quite done over here fiddles trim I'm just going to put a mark there because I have done some trim but obviously there's much to do yet so we've added to that how about I'll put a one here and we can do the count on those. Well, thanks earlier, Bruce, and I'm going to continue on where you left off. So following on there, but starting at the bow was number one. And so I'm going to give that a cross off. Those galley cabinets finally done. Now in the heads, the cabinet top was finished, but I'm not going to remove the post-it note because there's much more to do for the cabinet there and also the holding tank. So that note gets to stay. A lot of work's happened on that engine box, companionway steps, but there is still more work to do on that. So that note won't be removed either. And of course, number eight, which you saw in the prior video, the gas locker, all painted. So that'll get across off too, before that gets removed. A little bit of satisfaction time to remove these. So number one, the V-birth panels, done. Number two, the saloon tops, done, as you saw before. Number three, the galley doors, done. As I said, number four will stay for the moment. Number five, getting that toilet pedestal and the sole in the heads, done. And as mentioned, you will see another small bit of trim installed. So I'm gonna give that a tick over on the blue note, which leaves number eight. So. Boom. Now that's looking pretty good. And for those who notice the details, you might have noticed there is an edit already here, getting the head self fiberglassed and painted. So I'm going to give that one a tick off as well, which means I get to remove another one. Also, just to mention, along the way, there's always delays and holdups. So over the last few weeks, man, I have had some more showstoppers. One has been with the gas. That is a long story and I'm not going to bore you with that. The other one that I'm not going to bore you with is I've had another whole week completely out of action with computer problems, which has involved trips to a computer store, reinstalling everything. It doesn't take hours. It takes days. And as you probably know, computer problems are not fun. So let's get on with the work in this episode.
another nice little piece of trim. I just like making nice things out of wood. Right A, the last phase and steps involved for this engine box slash companionway steps, now that all the dry fitting has been done, is to actually assemble it all together for good. So what I've got are these plates with some coke screws. They're fairly heavy duty and I'm sure they'll do the job nicely. I just made those as washers out of some stainless steel plate. Just a nice big surface area on the back of those steps so that they can really do the job of not eating into that marine ploy over time, which I don't think they will once everything's assembled together, so they'll certainly do their bit. So what I need to do next is mix up some epoxy glue, smear a nice generous amount on each step. I'll then feed these screws so that the heads just poke through so that when I lower those steps, they'll already be located where the point of those screws poke through. Obviously then do them up and of course they don't need to be really tight because you want just a small gap when it comes to epoxy glues. I'll then get the railing in place before that epoxy goes off so that I make sure the outer edge is in line with those holes where the railing goes. Let that go off. The next step is to put on that last bit of sound insulation which is already cut up. Then I can move on to this fixed step
This is a huge improvement on the first version. So that's those eight things done, mostly. Now onto the next eight things for Mistress, which I'm hoping is the last batch for the inside projects list, before finally moving on to work on her outside. See you next time. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell so you get the notifications check out my website and as I always say leave a comment because I like reading what you have to say.